Howdy folks, I am Ashley Birch. You may know me best as Aloy from the Horizon series or Tiny Tina from Borderlands. I hear she's getting her own game soon. But enough about me, let me bid you a very warm welcome to the Future Games Show Spring Showcase. Dun, 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 dun. It's a show presented by Games Radar where we put games on your radar. D do you get it? Because game radar. Anyway, for the next hour, we are on a quest to show you a frankly disgusting amount of excellent trailers for games coming out in 2022 and the great beyond. But before we go any further, I'm going to need a partner. Someone ideally brave and proven. I think I know just the guy. Ashley, so good to see you and thank you for the kind words, my friend. For the folks at home, my name is John McMillan and I play Val in Horizon Zero Dawn and its sequel, Horizon Forbidden West. And alongside the amazing Ashley Birch, I'll be your host for today's show. And in the games, Ashley's character and mine share a strong bond based off of mutual respect and the ability to destroy robot dinosaurs with primitive weapons. You might not think so, but these skills are highly transferable, and that's why we're the ideal duo to guide you through more than an hour of exclusive video game trailers. That's exactly right, John. There is also a chance to win this high-end PC from our friends at AMD, which sounds handy for playing all these games that we've got to show you. Just follow the link on the screen to enter, wherever it happens to be. So let's saddle up and get things started with something special. Care to do the honors, Ashley? Ooh, I've always wanted to do this. Let's take a look at our first world premiere. <laughs> That was the time I have left, which is coming in 2023. Next, we have an exclusive look at the first gameplay from Gun Jam, a frantic rhythm FPS where players have to shoot in time with the music to stay alive. Let's check it out.
Now I can't stop snapping my fingers. That was Gun Jam, which is coming soon to PC. We're keeping those world premieres coming with our next trailer. This is a game where you play golf with cars. I feel like there's a pun here. Driving, like, like driving a car, but also driving a golf ball. Ah, oh, no, please, our poor viewers. Okay, 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 okay. But we both know there are so many great puns in the chat right now. Turbo Golf Racing is on course. John, what did we talk about? I swear to God. Let me finish. Turbo Golf Racing is on course to land on PC, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. And there's a beta coming soon. Ha! Nailed it. Yeah, okay. Next up is an exclusive look behind the scenes at A44, the creators of Ashen, who are hard at work on their next game. Let's check it out. Peggy 16. Flintlock Fantasy is this genre that's um, built on black powder and technology and old gods and dark magic. The door to the afterlife is in the city of Dawn. And so this is where all the undead are coming from that populate the world. It's also where the gods have taken over and humans have essentially been kicked out. And the advent of gunpowder has changed the face of war giving humanity an opportunity to fight back against these gods and magic. And so they're trying to get back in, they're trying to take the city back, they're trying to close the door to the afterlife. Noor uh, is an uh, inspiration. She's a strong woman of color and she is taking no prisoners. She is out to kill the god who killed her father. In her quest to do this, she joins up with uh, Enki and the two of you essentially carve a trail through this world and uh, find a way to kill these gods. There's quite a lot of conflict happening. That feeling of like being immersed in this grungy trench war, I think, with cannons going off all around you, is, um, I think it's pretty intense and I'm really excited for players to see that. I'm super excited that Flintlock is going to be one of those to, to show that it's not just one side of the world or one person can be the hero. You know, there's many heroes with many faces. I'm really just excited for players to meet Noor and to meet Enki. I think it's going to be an amazing journey to go on for all of our people that have worked on it. It's going to be an exciting ride. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn is headed to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC in 2022. And now for something completely different. Here's a futuristic social deduction game where an AI Sherlock and an AI Moriarty lock horns over murder most foul. Think Among Us meets Cluedo meets Minority Report. Ah, you'll figure it out. Peggy 12.
Now you're all clued up on Crime Sight, which is coming soon to PC. Our next game is all about dealing with those strange somethings in your neighborhood. Let's investigate the silly, spooky world of Midnight Ghost Hunt. Get ready to hunt poltergeist props in Midnight Ghost Hunt, which is coming to PC in just a few days' time on March 31st. Hey John, did you know that this future game show is part of a brand new genre? Is this something you've just made up, Ashley? No. The producers told me that this year's event is actually a strand-type showcase, and I've got an exclusive trailer that proves it.
told you. Death Stranding Director's Cut launches on PC next week if you're down for some daddy daycare. Next up, we've got an exclusive look at gameplay from Demio PC Edition, a co-op tabletop adventure game with VR crossplay functionality. Descending into the dark dungeons of forgotten memories, the mighty guardian found himself caught in an ambush. An old but familiar magic, whispering a call to adventure. Compelled by fate, he summoned the old fellowship. We gotta get the key and then we gotta go to the exit. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out this little spider looking thing. Do it, John! Take him out! Where are we going? Are we going here? Ooh, a chest! Oh, we got a card! Ooh! Nice! Do I need to save you? I a card. You got a card? Okay, hang on, I got this. I have a feeling this could get ugly. Oh, <laughs> they are killing you, man! They're taking a beating. I'm about to die! We got these clowns. We got your back. Oh, here they come. I got you, I got you. Let's do this. Oh, nice! <laughs> Demio PC Edition is coming to Steam on April 7th. City builders are usually frantic fights against climate disaster or bankruptcy, but Dorf Romantic replaces that, well, realism with relaxation. Here's an update from the folks at Tucana Interactive about where the game is headed next. Excited to announce that Dorf Romantic is launching out of early access and will be available on Steam, Epic Game Store, and GOG on April 28th, 2022. Hey John! It's world premiere time again! Woo! Let's take our first look at a new title coming to PlayStation and PC in 2023. This is Alterborn. <laughs> into these shattered halls, seeking lost glory, and for what? It is in thy nature to destroy whatever you do not comprehend. Look at them, so fragile, doomed from the start of their hopeless pursuit. You gazed upon others that shared your fate. And yet, like a moth to the flame, you still push forth. Yes. You see it now, don't you? Your futile quest can only end in one way. Tap into the power within. Embrace it. Or be consumed by it. Looks gooey. Alterborn is coming to PC and PlayStation in 2023. All right, I need a break. You know, like a real change of scenery. You know where I'd love to be right now, John? 
An empty convention center hall that is mysteriously lit with neon? That's, uh, wow. No, actually, that sounds kind of scary. Okay, well, just close your eyes for a second and pretend you're in the Bahamas. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Look, it's better than the Bahamas. Welcome to the virtual show floor, Ashley. Every game we're about to see here has a Steam demo that you will be able to play right after the show. Just Google Future Games Show Steam to find all the games featured in today's showcase. Also, the great thing about the virtual show floor is that it has all of the fun of a physical event without any of the body odor. Right, right, right. So why does it still smell so funky in here? Oh, uh, that's just a runoff from the curse to golf booth. The developers went the extra mile for the ambience. You'll get used to it. Should we head over and check it out? Sure. Curse to Golf is a roguelike golfing adventure where players have to putt their way out of purgatory. That's one hell of a handicap. Ha! See? Golf puns are easy, John. Okay, moving on. Our next booth features Power Chord. This is a demonic deck builder where players assemble a band of musical avengers and rock their way through hordes of leather-clad enemies. And if you like the sound of that, then get your print screen keys ready in three, two, one. John, you're so generous. Ah, come on. It's a gift from us both. Ooh, speaking of gifts, I know a gigantic sloth with a gift for punching the crap out of skyscrapers. In Terror of Hemosaurus, you play as a giant monster and wreak havoc on humankind. Butt slam civilians, punch helicopters, and rescue kittens in this retro city smash em up for up to four players. Sounds like an absolute rampage. But let's knock that heart rate down just a little bit and check in with Spirit of the Island. This cutesy co-op life simulation game is about transforming a lush archipelago into a bustling hotspot for tourists. Ooh, now let's crank the heart rate right back up with Project Warlock 2. This chaotic boomer shooter has stunning sprites and plenty of pig demons to porkify. It's sure to get your heart racing. Porkify? I'm not sure that's in the dictionary. Yeah, that's a good point. Although I don't think any of what we're seeing here is in the dictionary. Next up, we've got Norco, a point-and-click with a gothic Americana twist. Chat with thought-provoking androids and confront the uncanny valley in this dreamlike dystopian adventure. From sophisticated conversations to the subtle art of wrecking everything, this is Abris, a brutalist destruction game where you build tools to break down towers. Make it rain, people. And if you're looking for a more subtle form of revolution, then our next game should be on your radar. Revolution the Spark is a turn-based RPG where player choice is paramount. Get ready to fight for the many in this steampunk supernatural vision of an evil 20th century empire. Our final game incorporates elements from Gaelic, Celtic, and Swiss folklore to deliver an inspired take on the character action brawler. You can play as one of three varied characters and battle creepy bosses in Helvetti, which is coming to Steam in 2022. And that's all we have time for on the virtual show floor. Please don't forget to check out the Future Game Show Steam page where you can try all of these games for free. All right, while you're waiting for those demos to download, it's time to check out some more exclusive trailers. Let's start with a trip to feudal Japan. Dad, I've seen it in my dream. The village, it was already there. Rice fields, the water mill. Everything looked just like you told me. And the people. There were so many. They worked so hard to keep us safe and at peace with the gods. Finally, everybody was happy. And there was no hunger anymore. It was so beautiful and peaceful. I couldn't believe it. So, Dad, please promise me. Promise me that we will survive.
Sengoku Dynasty is coming to PC in 2022. Next, we have something so secret that I don't even know what's coming, which means we can all experience this reveal together. So let's go. Peggy 12. Deliver Us Mars, which is the follow-up to the incredible Deliver Us the Moon, and it's coming to PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, and PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store. Question. What if Solid Snake was a sentient Roomba? Are you just thinking out loud, Ashley? Oh, no. That's like the whole premise of our next game, and I, for one, am in love with it. And the music is so great. Well, okay, John, just see for yourself. Hoover, damn, that looks good. Justice Sucks Recharged is coming soon to PC. Next, we've got a montage of upcoming games from our friends at Team 17. Let's see what they've got in store for us. Peggy 18. Hear my wailing. Oh, you push the pedal to the floor. In this game, we always ready for more. Oh, you try to push me to my limit, but they ain't know that I've been here before. You can scare when it's time up. We on the next level, homie, climb up. We ain't gonna stop till I'm done. Too late, homie, time's up. Time ticking, time ticking. The clock running, let's see if you really with it. Everything can be over in just a minute. Ain't no time for second chances when we in it. I say, time ticking, time ticking. The clock running, let's see if you really with it. Everything can be over in just a minute. Ain't no time for second chances when we in it. When the clock run down, when you gonna be 
Quite the collection. Make sure to wishlist anything that tickled your fancy. Now it's time for a developer presentation from Lava Potion about their upcoming strategy game, Songs of Conquest. Hi, I'm Carl Toftable, the game designer of Songs of Conquest. Songs of Conquest is a love letter to the classic turn-based strategy games of the 90s, and in our game you'll control powerful magicians called wielders. Adventure awaits as you send your wielders to explore maps filled with enemies, magic sites, treasures, and powerful artifacts. But finding treasure and exploring is only the start of it. You need to invest your riches in both expanding your town and raising a grand army, because sooner or later you'll face the enemy in combat. Each turn, your troops generate Essence, a magic resource that fuels and unlocks your spells. Anything from simple buffs to cataclysmic damage deals. In combat, there are many things to consider. Your troops can move, attack, and use abilities, like placing stakes in front of them. Moving to the high ground gives many benefits, but moving away from an enemy lets them attack you. So carefully consider your choices. And speaking of choices, you'll have four different factions to play as in Songs of Conquest. Arleon is the remnants of an empire, now broken up into many warring baronies. Knights are joined in an uneasy accord with the Fae, magical creatures of the woods. Rana, the swamp dwellers, scattered by their enemies. But a mysterious wielder has risen, uniting the folk of the marsh to rediscover their true strength. In the declining barony of Loth, cultists excavate ancient ruins for arcane artifacts. Loth will stop at nothing to bring back its former glory, even if it means bringing back the dead. The wealthy merchant states of Baria employ artificers to keep them one step ahead of their enemies. The volleys of muskets and the roar of the Hellbreath bring terror to all who oppose them. Songs of Conquest can be played both in single-player and multiplayer mode. The game has two campaigns and several skirmish maps. And it will also include the same level editor we have used to create all maps and campaigns in the game. We are very excited to show you the game soon and hope you'll join us for the adventure. Songs of Conquest is launching via Steam Early Access in early 2022. The next LEGO Star Wars game is nearly here, I promise. And to prove it, we've got a brand new trailer to whet your appetite ahead of launch. Finally, we have revealed ourselves to the Jedi. 
Together, we can rule the galaxy. My worthy apprentice, the mighty Kylo Ren. I trust our plans are proceeding accordingly. The Republic and the Jedi won't stand a chance. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to turn you to the dark side. No! And now you will experience the full power of the dark side. Execute order 67. Yes, my lord. No, no. Not 67. Order 66. <laughs> Play it on Xbox Series X and S. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga launches on April 5th for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Next up is our Ones to Watch montage, which features short bursts of footage from upcoming games that should definitely be on your radar. Wishlist fingers at the ready! Check out GamesRadar.com for more info on any interesting games that may have caught your eye. Let's imagine another kind of future with The Cycle Frontier, a free-to-play shooter where you fight off other players and vie for resources on a hostile alien world. Hey Prospectors, I'm Dan, Creative Director on The Cycle Frontier. The Cycle Frontier is a free-to-play PvPvE high-stakes sci-fi shooter. It's a game where you get to take on the role of a prospector that goes down to a beautiful but also very, very dangerous alien planet. You go there in the search of valuable resources, but between you and those resources stand monsters, a deadly storm, and perhaps most interestingly, other prospectors who are after the same resources as you. As a prospector, it's up to you how you want to navigate all those dangers. Uh, whether you want to drop down solo with a squad, whether you want to avoid danger, look for it and go in guns blazing, or even collaborate with strangers. Your choices really matter, because if you play your cards right, you can come out a very wealthy prospector. But if you die, you lose it all, including the gear you came in with. Our second closed beta test is soon coming to an end. But I'm super happy to announce that we're also getting close to the official release of the Cycle Frontier.
The Cycle Frontier is coming to PC in 2022. Okay, it's world premiere time again. How come you always get to announce the world premieres? I think it's probably karma for all those puns you did, buddy. As I was saying, inspired by Paper Mario and Undertale, this game follows an adorable ghost who has come to terms with their own death. Three cheers for existential wholesomeness! That was the Outbound Ghost, which is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Next up, we've got a game where you have to manage a spaceship in a procedurally generated universe. Sounds a bit tricky. Hello, travelers, and welcome to your new life purpose, sponsored by Globocore. To ensure a successful mission, I now request your full attention. Please take a few moments to familiarize yourself with our state-of-the-art, high-powered laser cannons. In the unlikely event that Norm brand rockets bombard our ship, emergency exit points may appear. Globocorp would like to apologize for any turbulence experienced on this flight, but also remind you that it's your fault as you are the pilot. Today's in-flight entertainment includes Dodge the Asteroid and Don't Get Ejected into the Endless Void of Space. In the event hostile forces attempt to make contact with you, it is advised to avoid conflict at all costs. Thank you for flying with Globocorp, rated number one for safety by all of our survivors. This means war! Adapt to survive in This Means Warp. Now it's time to take a look at the ecologically ravaged Earth of Forever Skies, a base-building adventure set on a futuristic airship. We burned paradise. We lit the fire and fled. But death followed, hidden in our blood.
Forever Skies is headed to PC in 2022 and you can wishlist it on Steam today. As the spring showcase trucks along... John. I'm sorry, I can't help it, I can't help it. This is Alaskan Truck Simulator, I had to do it. You really didn't. Alaskan Truck Simulator is chugging its way to PC in 2022. You may have seen some of our next trailer at last week's ID at Xbox event, but we've got the extended cut featuring all new gameplay. This is Immortality, an interactive movie trilogy from her story creator, Sam Barlow. All right, well, we've got to take a short break here. Do you mind reading this out yeah. uh, for us? Now, Marvelous Magic will turn the next 60 seconds into a commercial. To our star, our gorgeous, la bellissima Marissa Marcel. What is your name? Marissa Marcel. Get it right. Give us a turn. It's not who you think it is. Are you funny? Is she okay? Now you can proposition me. Take one. That looks incredible. What's up next, John? The spotlight swings to a cute platforming adventure inspired by Peruvian culture. Let's check it out, shall we? Imp of the Sun is out now. Yes, right now. On PC. Go get it. Hold on to your pillows, folks, as we have entered the horror segment of the Spring Showcase. Let's embark on Expedition Zero.
Edition Zero is out now on PC. Okay, let's keep it going with this spooky atmosphere with a closer look at Silt, Spiral Circus's hand-drawn underwater haunt. Silt is coming to Steam in early 2022. Now please, cover those jugulars as we're about to check in with the developers behind Vampire the Masquerade, Swan Song. In Vampire the Masquerade, Swan Song, you play as three vampires, Galeb, Laisha, and M.M and investigate a catastrophic event that has struck the vampires of Boston. Your choices decide the fate of your characters, your sect, and Boston itself. Let's explore just some of the unique narrative RPG mechanics in the game. To thrive as a vampire, you must use skills and attributes displayed on your character sheet. Each character sheet is unique and will evolve as you play, giving different options. From unlocking a door, to convincing someone to let you pass. You Even a single point gained can completely change the way you approach a situation. Vampires also possess different disciplines, vampiric powers that can be used to solve problems. MM uses celerity to access the inaccessible. Laisha's auspex heightens the senses and allows you to see potential futures. Disciplines can be upgraded to unlock new powers. For example, Obfuscate allows you to move undetected, but when upgraded, lets you conceal objects too. Powers don't come for free. You need willpower points to use skills, and your hunger increases as you use disciplines. Hunt for blood to sate your hunger. But fresh blood can be scarce, and if your hunger becomes too great, you may lose control entirely. Traits and talents influence your character sheet. Traits are positive or negative effects influenced by success or failure, or by taking certain decisions. Talents are side goals that reward players for sticking to a certain play style. For example, if you can control your hunger for blood, this talent will grow, making it easier. Each NPC has their own character sheet. They'll use their own skills and, depending on your opponent, vampiric disciplines too. If a dialogue fight ends in a tie, a die roll will decide the winner. In this world of desire and betrayal, there will be crucial confrontations. Confrontations are tense dialogue fights with high stakes. Fail and you'll live with game-changing consequences. These are just some of Swansong's RPG systems that open up a new world of narrative gameplay. Discover more in Vampire the Masquerade, Swansong. Follow us at, at Vampire Swan Song. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song is swooping onto PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch on May 19th, 2022. And with that, it's time to say goodbye to this year's Spring Showcase. So let's round off with an exciting world premiere for a post apocalyptic platformer. <laughs> hearing my mother's heartbeat as we made our way to the launch pads. But the most vivid memory I have 
is standing alone, watching the shuttles leave, evacuating you to Mars. Those left behind started to turn on each other. So I escaped, deep into the forest. Moms and legs propel me. You cannot buy or sell me. Like water, no one's son, no one's daughter. I am the son of no one, the son of no one. Years passed, and then suddenly you appeared again. At the time, I didn't know I had something you wanted immunity. Bastard, we Get ready for the cub. Coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. That can't be it. Right, Ashley? These things never end without a little something something. And I still haven't got to do my best world premiere voice. You're right, you're right. Okay, I've got one last reveal hiding up my sleeve. And this one's all you, baby. Finally. All right, folks. Here's our final world premiere. And with that, we come to the actual, legal conclusion of the Future Games Show Spring Showcase. It's been a total pleasure, but unfortunately, we have to dip. You can start fleshing out your wish lists now and make your way over to gamesradar.com for more details on the games you've just seen. And don't forget those virtual show floor demos either, which can be found on the Future Games Show page on Steam. A huge thank you to everyone involved in this year's Spring Showcase. And of course, to all of you tuning in at home. I'm Ashley Birch. And I've been John McMillan. And this has been the, the Future, Future Game, Game Show Spring, Spring Showcase. Showcase. I am the best at this, nah, you ain't gonna mess with this Ever heard of what the veteran is? I work harder than most to be what the real is Never stop training, cause I'm the best at this I am the best at this, nah, you ain't gonna mess with this Ever heard of what the veteran is? I work harder than most to be what the real is Never stop training, cause I'm the best at this The first is the last, and the last the first I be the first one that ain't squeezed, and I'ma burst So what's your work? Does your net work? Listen closely to my next words, also you wanna be the best word It's time for you to use your head first, Popeye, you better learn to get the leg work Yeah, that's right, let's take them to the serpent It's time to put the work in, you deserve it, don't deserve it, which you have never been perfect Now striving for perfection, see that's the hidden lesson, your feet should leave the surface High five to heaven, so your vision inverted, free fall to feeling Had to go to get it, glass blown to ceiling, hammer the bracelet, uh, heaven knows you're living So you can never leave until you know the limit 
ask me if there is one I tell you if you ever find a work pole Nigga, I am the best at this Nah, you ain't gonna mess with this Ever heard of what the veteran is? I work hard and the most to be with the realist Never stop training cause I'm the best at this 